Hello and welcome to a new edition of Africa Today. Actually, today is a special edition and we will tackle Egyptian-Spanish relations as President Afet Hassisi received the Spanish Prime Minister early in the day and they both held a press conference. President Sisi held talks with the visiting Spanish Prime Minister Pedro Sanchez in Cairo on Wednesday. The talks centered on means of enhancing bilateral ties in various domains. In in addition to a number of regional and international issues of mutual concern. At a joint press conference following their talks, President Sisi said that Egypt offers investment and economic opportunities for Spain and called for expanding Spanish investments in Egypt. The president said that he discussed with the Spanish premier expanding number of tourists who visit Egypt, combating coronavirus at economic and health levels. For his part, the Spanish premier said Spain aims to diversify and expand its ties with Egypt, adding that his government works on promoting the economy. Meanwhile, Prime Minister Mustafa Madbouli confirmed on Wednesday that Egypt is committed to expanding cooperation and partnership with Spain, witnessing the launch of the Egyptian-Spanish Business Forum in Cairo with his Spanish counterpart Pedro Sanchez. The Prime Minister said that he expects the Egyptian-Spanish Business Forum would result in positive outcomes and fruitful cooperation. Madbouli added that, that investing in joint projects would help provide more job opportunities for the two sides, as well as an exchange of, exp uh, an exchange of experiences. The Prime Minister reviewed Egypt's desire for financial cooperation with Spain to push forward the economy in both countries. He called on representatives of the Spanish private sector to get acquainted with huge investment opportunities available in the Suez Canal economic zone and the new administrative capital as well as other cities of the fourth generation cities which are enriched with modern infrastructure. The Prime Minister referred to the implementation of a number of mega and national projects to enhance Egypt's economy. He extended his appreciation to the Spanish side for supplying Egypt with vaccines against coronavirus. For his part, the Spanish Premier reiterated that Egypt is considered a strategic partner to Spain and hailed Egypt's policies to attract foreign investments. He further praised Egypt's achievements concerning its uh, economic uh, development, affirming that Egypt is one of the few countries which succeeded in realizing growth despite coronavirus pandemic. During the forum, the two sides signed a memorandum of understanding and a cooperation protocol in the field of trade and economy. Late on Tuesday, Madbouli received Sanchez at Cairo International Airport, where an official reception was organized for the top guest and his accompanying delegation. The Spanish premier is on a two-day official visit to Cairo, heading a high-ranking delegation, which includes the Minister of Trade and a number of senior officials, in addition to a delegation of businessmen and representatives of leading companies. And uh, now we are joined over the phone by Ambassador Gamal Bayoumi, former assistant, uh, former minister, and will talk to us about the importance of this uh, visit by the Spanish Premier. Good afternoon, Mr. Ambassador. Good afternoon. How are you? So, uh, as uh, I've mentioned earlier, that uh, the Spanish Premier is uh, currently visiting Egypt, uh, and uh, he held talks uh, early in the day with uh, President Fatah Sisi. So, can you elaborate more on the importance of this visit? Of course, it's very important. Uh, we are happy for such a visit, but we are not surprised, by the way, because Egypt is the largest country in its area. Egypt is the largest uh, and the strongest uh, army in the area. 
Egypt is a main trade partner to Europe. Yes. And uh, uh, of course, Spain uh, is a, a special case because we have a long history since the Arabs were ruling the Spanian uh, country. But now, since 2001, we have signed an agreement, the association agreement with the European Union, including Spain, of course. And uh, this made our exports increase by four times. Our imports was increased by three times. And still we have a long uh, story to continue because it's not only the country Egypt with 100 million inhabitants, but Egypt now, after all these years, we are open to the African uh, continent with a free trade area with more than 1,000 uh, million inhabitants. We have a free trade area also with the yes. Arab countries with uh, something like more than 400 million inhabitants. So if, if we are clever enough, really, we have to attract investment in Egypt in all our areas, whether in Suez Canal Zone, in Sinai, in Western Egypt, in the Upper Egypt, at the Red Sea Zone, in order to produce what all these markets, which we are in a very good connection with them, covered by our uh, products, especially that we are exempted from any trade barriers or custom duties in all these markets with more than 2,000 million inhabitants with all our uh, parts. Here it comes the importance of such a meeting to explore and to discuss all the possibilities in order to make mm -hmm. our relations even bigger, even deeper. And I, I am quite confident that we can do that. We have yes. all the abilities in order to do that, but we have, of course, to do our homework, as I always say, uh, a lot of efforts must be uh, mm. uh, given to enlarge our banking system and uh, to, to make our uh, bureaucracy less bureaucratic in order to make the investor enjoy really working in Egypt. And this is uh, the, the challenge we are facing now in order to make Egypt really a hub for investment, a hub for trade in uh, uh, all the energy, uh, whether it is electricity, gas, mm. or uh, oil. But many dimensions that yes. put also the political and security dimension where uh, Europe and Egypt are uh, committed to combat all the organized crime, whether it is mm. terrorism, whether it is illegal migration or drug, drug trafficking, or uh, money laundering. We are committed legally through the association agreement in order to stop all these crimes because it's annoying all of us. We have a full cooperation of the European Union and Spain in, in our problems in the Eastern Mediterranean, whether yes. it is in Libya and Syria and Lebanon. The files are many, and I think now we, we gain the presidential level to be there and this is the most important weapon in our foreign uh, affairs. And now we, we, we have uh, our president committed totally to such uh, efforts, which give it a uh, strong position in order to face mm -hmm. any problem or to facilitate all the uh, aims we are looking forward. Yes. So, sir, this is uh, the first visit by the Spanish uh, Prime Minister to Egypt since 2009. So what does this tell about Madrid's leadership in boosting its uh, relation with Egypt and uh, it, uh, its keenness to boost the Euro-Mediterranean relations, Euro-Mediterranean countries' relations? Egypt is becoming more and more attractive. Yes. I am proud to say as a diplomat that Cairo is uh, the, the city which is hosting uh, much more uh, missions and mm. more than any capital in the world. And the size of the embassies in Cairo, if you look to the Saudi embassy, and the building is higher than the uh, Egyptian Ministry of Foreign Affairs. If you see that the Americans are uh, putting here an embassy, uh, the largest embassy, uh, of the United States anywhere in the world.
Yes. The same with Europe. All the European Union countries are represented in uh, Cairo. There is also a representative for the European Union itself. Mm. And all these are giving enough power to uh, uh, manage and to direct our relations with Europe both positively for uh, the sake of the Egyptian people and the European one. Spain yes. is a special case because we have a long history with Spain. It used to be a very important alliance for our uh, uh, political positions, whether mm. the Palestinian questions or the East Mediterranean uh, problems in Libya and Syria and uh, Lebanon. And they, they, they appreciate the Egyptian position all the time. Yes, sir. Apart from uh, politics, uh, the Prime Minister also said that there are memos of understanding uh, that aims at enhancing cultural uh, cooperation, sports cooperation, enhancing uh, tourism uh, between the two countries. How do you see uh, all these uh, memos of understanding that covers uh, different fields? Very important. And as I mentioned, that we have more than a million Egyptians living in, uh, and working in Europe. We, we, we are the country which uh, have mm. very important cultural relations. We, we talk English, yes. we talk French, Italian, Spanish, and it's mm. uh, one condition for a diplomat in Egypt to talk at least three languages. So we, we, we talk all the European languages, and they, they tell us all the time that they are happy that Egypt is a country where they can talk with their own language with it. So, uh, uh, also, uh, our uh, invoice to, mm. to learn in the European universities and institutions is quite well known. And uh, we, 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 we are doing our best in order to benefit from the very advanced uh, system of education. For we have used our uh, relation with those countries in order to ameliorate our uh, education system also. Yes. So, sir, uh, also uh, the Spanish uh, Prime Minister is accompanied by a delegation of businessmen and uh, representatives of uh, leading uh, companies here in Egypt. And actually, he called on uh, the representatives of the Spanish private sector to get acquainted with the huge investment opportunities available in the Suez Canal Economic Zone and the new administrative capital, as well as other cities of the fourth generation, which which are enriched uh, with uh, many uh, new uh, equipment and technologies. So uh, how uh, do you see this invitation by the Spanish Premier? Now we are establishing and uh, uh, strengthening the mm. mechanism in order to manage our relations. Yes. And one of these uh, mechanisms are, uh, for instance, the ministerial uh, committees, and now we are establishing a ministerial committee. Yes between Egypt and uh, Spain. Hmm. The businessmen uh, uh, associations is, is a very good tool also. So and uh, besides that, I want to mention something uh, really some, somebody can take care of, which is the, the, the committees within the association agreement. We have nine committees which are meeting every year whether in Cairo or in Brussels, in order to see the details of the relations. Of course, we have the Political and Security Committee, headed by uh, the foreign ministers. We have a committee for energy, we have a committee for education, we have a, a, a committee for uh, environment, and so, so many. So uh, it is a very well-organized relation. And uh, thank God that now we are in a good command of facing the epidemic in a, in a very good way. Egypt is lucky that it is still standing on very solid ground concerning our economic uh, performance. So I hope that we, 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 we shall double our efforts in order to make uh, much more benefit from the, 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 the richest and the widest uh, economy in the world, which is the European Union economy. Yes. 
Yes, I'd like uh, to thank Ambassador Gamal Bayoumi, former Assistant uh, Foreign Minister for this uh, precious information. And as I said earlier, that President of the Sisi held talks with the visiting Spanish uh, Prime Minister Pedro Sanchez in Cairo on Wednesday. Their talks centered on means to enhance uh, bilateral ties in various domains in addition to a number of regional and international issues of mutual concern. And at a joint press conference following in their talks, President Sisi said that Egypt offers investment and economic opportunities for Spain and called for expanding Spanish investments in Egypt. The President also said that he had discussed with the Spanish Premier expanding number of the number of tourists uh, visit Egypt and combating corona level, uh, coronavirus at economic and health levels. For his part, the Spanish Premier said that Spain aims to diversify and expand its ties with Egypt adding that his government works on promoting the economy and also earlier in the day the Prime Minister and the, the Spanish Premier witnessed the launch of the Egyptian Spanish Business Forum in Cairo and uh, with the attendance of uh, the representatives of Spanish private uh, sector uh, representatives and G viewers by that we come to the end of our special edition uh, from Africa today as it covers uh, Egyptian-Spanish relations in light of the current visit by the Spanish Premier. Thank you for watching.